Hello everyone, we're back again, and this is episode 13, and uh, lots of changes have taken place since our uh, last episode. There was a patch that added a lot of new things. Ooh, major lag there. Um, I'm also starting to record in 720p, which should make things better, I think. And also, I am now running on a RAM disk, so everything should load a lot faster now. So I didn't get a chance to show you this last episode, but I wanted I built this wall here out of water. I wanted to see how the mobs would react to it, and I also built. Uh, a double door trap system. I'm not sure if that works or not. I haven't tested that yet. So I just want to show you what this does first. If I can find some creepers, yes. Come on, come on. Get these idiots to chase me. This way. Whoa! Yeah, come on, let's go. Keep coming. So this water wall is kind of interesting. For one thing, it kills creepers if they try to walk through it, if you dig eno it deep enough. And it kills cows. And I think it kills sheep and pigs and chickens too. Um, spiders will walk through it though. And zombies and skeletons will walk up to it and then get stuck and they won't move anymore so I thought that was kinda interesting uh, let's try find another creeper real quick and see if we can get him in our double door trap Too close. Whoa. That was cool. I don't know if they'll go through this. Yeah, they still get stuck on it. I think. Or they won't drown, at least. How's it going in there? So yeah, this still doesn't work very well. Anyway, um, this episode I think we should work on the road. I keep saying I'm going to show you guys how to wire it and I still haven't done it. And now we have wire so there's really no excuse not to do it. Uh, oh yeah, first thing we should do is fix this water pattern down here. So doing it that way isn't a good idea. Um, I've come up with a better way of doing it. Get rid of that. 
Uh, we'll need one sign. Because like I said before, the problem with this, the way we had it there, is if a boat lands on another boat, it's going to get stuck permanently. And all your boats are going to get wrecked. So, uh, we're going to place a sign right here. And... I'm going to place blocks above here to stop this from happening. And... Put a torch here. And so we got a hollow spot here we can place water there now. And then what we're going to try to do is make the water bottom out here. And to do that we need to run it the full 8 blocks length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. And then we can cover this up. So now if a boat comes down and lands on here and another boat lands on it, it'll keep working still. And also, uh, doing it this way allows us to load boats down there. Uh, let's see here. I'm a little bit disorganized here. Missing one important thing on our road still. And someone was asking me about this. They were having problems with their road, and it's because you need to have a ladder here and a ladder here. So that boats, when you hop in the boat, it doesn't uh, push out this way. The ladders stop it from pushing out this way. So yeah, we can load a boat by placing it right in the square. And it works just fine. And I left the door open. Okay. Uh... Okay, so to wire this thing, it's not too tricky. We need to attach this pressure plate to this door. So let's dig a hole for that. Now I'm going to place a ladder here so I can get out of here still.
place some torches. So we're going to dig a hole here. And then we're just going to join them together. Like so. And we need to run the wire to the bottom of the door. So right here. Just like that. So that's one wire done already. And we have three wires to do. So we can seal this back up. Uh, next wire we're going to do is we have to connect this pressure plate to this door. Which is a little bit more tricky because they're close together. So to do that, let's dig a hole around here. And we want all our wires hidden so it looks good. iron. And also I don't suggest building this in uh, multiplayer servers just yet because boats are still very glitchy and hopefully Notch will fix them eventually but for right now um, you're going to have a lot of problems trying to get this working, as I've discovered, because the boats don't work consistently, and they behave differently than they do in single player. Even though they shouldn't. Okay, so it's two blocks over. going to take this away from now. Alright, how did I do this before? Doors over there. Pressure plate is over here. Whoa, don't want to use that. I think the pressure plate is here. wires lighting up. So I think uh, the way I did it before is uh, let's make some torches here. Uh, I think I had a torch here. Lock here and a torch underneath the door. And then you just run a wire like this. The so pressure plate activates it here, goes through the torch, connects to this block, lights up this, which opens the door. So, 
Pretty simple. You could probably also do this without using any torches, but doesn't really matter. So that's another wire done. Just one left. Oh yeah. Gotta cl clean this up again. Top in the boat, door opens, and you go. Okay, so the next thing to do is this pressure plate needs to open these two doors when it's pressed. Or wait, needs to close these two doors when it's pressed. And I'm gonna have to dig a hole here for right now. I had a lot of trouble with this one. Because I found out you can't use any redstone torches on it because it will create too long of a delay. A lot easier doing this if you have a lot of space around. So it goes one and then one over. did I have this before? I think this is where the doors are. Yeah. Alright, okay. So, I think, uh, We gotta do it this way. Uh, place the wire beside. What was that noise? We have company down here. Place the wire beside the pressure plate. And make it go down one. I better get my sword out. So yeah, just like this. Uh, that connects to one door. This connects to the other door. And then you can seal this back up. So now when we s these doors are open by default now, we step on it, they both close. Okay, this one still works. That one still works. And that one still works. So it's all wired. And that's how you do an Eats Road. 
and then for the other end just copy the exact same thing as we have over here and we're going to experiment with uh, elevation changes and also hopefully with uh, making right and left turns with the road and other things like that but probably not this episode yet Let's go for a ride. Oh yeah, someone suggested I should hook up music boxes uh, to the pressure plates. And I actually kind of like that idea. I think I'm going to try that eventually. Because you go over them pretty quickly and I think you could make music out of it. Alright, what now? So I guess we pretty much used up all our time for this episode already. So, I guess time flies when you're disorganized. So, we're going to end it here. Uh, next episode, I'm hopefully going to start building a storage room. Which will be the start of my house using the new uh, dispenser blocks. And I think they'll work good for a storage room. Also, a creeper just blew up my stairs here. And I'm pretty upset about that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.